This tutorial was requested by Plush Chocobros. If you want to request a tutorial, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe with notifications, and tell me what character I should make next. Now, into the tutorial. Hey guys, Blop here, and today, I'm going to show you how to make the base of a human plush along with the Noctis plush. This tutorial can also be used to make other characters. First, you will cut out your body and head base patterns, and you will have any colors of your choice. These are what I'm using. You will also need matching thread, pins and needles, scissors, and a glue gun. As always, cut out your patterns. For Noctis, I am segmenting the body into two parts for his shirt and pants. So, I have cut out the body in half to create something like this to create his pants and shirt. But, you're going to need a little bit of extra length on them to make sure that whenever you stitch the pieces together, they're the normal length of a body piece. You may also repeat this with your arms or legs. Then, these will be all of the pieces you will have. You will notice that my legs are also segmented. Again, before stitching up anything, make sure that you've stitched your segmented pieces together. Now that you've stitched them together, you're going to fold the body over itself like this and stitch it along this straight edge. Then, you're going to do it the same with the leg, flip it over itself and stitch the long edge shut. Now you will have flipped your legs right side out and they will look like this. Make sure that you haven't stuffed them yet. Now, before you stitch the body together, you're going to place the legs in the center of the body like this. Make sure that the stitches in the body aren't visible, and that the seams of the leg stitches are visible facing towards you. Then you will stitch the legs into the center of the body. Make sure that the legs are aligned parallel to the body as well. Now that the legs are stitched in, they'll look like this. Now you can sew up the back of the body. Then this will be your result. Make sure that the legs are on the inside of your body, because now you're going to take your sole piece, place it on top of that hole, and stitch it in where the legs are. Then, you will flip it right side out, and it will look like this. Next, take your shoe sole piece and the shoe strap, and sew the shoe strap all the way around the outer edge of the shoe piece. You may have some extra length on it, but leave it there for now. Then, sew another shoe sole on top. Now you can cut that extra length off, flip it right side out and stuff it and it will look like this. Then, if you want shoe cuffs, all you need to do is cut out a piece of fabric that fits around the leg just a little longer, so then you can stitch it up, flip it right side out and slide it onto the leg. Then, you're going to take your shoe and ladder stitch the shoe onto the leg. Then you can slide your cuffs down and it will look like that. Next. Take your arm pieces, fold them over themselves, and stitch them along this long dart on the back edge, and then this curved edge all the way around, leaving this bottom edge open. This will be your result once it's flipped right side out and stuffed. Then, you're going to take your body, and ladder stitch the arm onto the body, and it will look like this. Then, now that you have that, move on to the head. First, you're going to take your chin piece and sew up the chin at the center of the face along the chin's straight edge and the face's curved edge. Then, it will look like this. Now, take your hair piece and place it onto your head like this, making sure that the top corner aligns with the middle of the head and the bottom corner aligns with the middle of the chin. Then, you will stitch it on. Now, the result will look something like this, making sure that it's open on the inside. Then you will do the same for the other. Now that you have done that, you're going to stitch up this middle seam, leaving a small hole open so that you can flip it right side out and stuff it. This is how it should look, but your hole may need to be a little bit bigger. Then, you will ladder stitch that hole, and it will look like this. Next, you're going to take your two ear pieces and stitch them together all the way around the outer edge and then ladder stitch them on. You could have also sewn these on on the inside, but I forgot to, so that's why I'm doing it like this. This will be the result. Now, take your body and ladder stitch it onto the head, right on this chin, making sure that a little goes onto the hair. Then, the base will look like this. You can make any character with this base, but now, I'm going to continue to make Noctis from Final Fantasy XV. For Noctis, you will cut out all the patterns on screen right now. First, for your hair pattern, you will have all of these pieces. Now, you're going to glue your side hair pieces 
onto the seam of the face and hair pieces of the head. Then it will look like this. Next, take your hair piece and glue it on top of the head, making sure that the hair aligns in the middle, making sure that you also cover that cream spot at the top. Now, take your extra hair pieces and glue it right under the hair piece and the side hair pieces. Do this for both sides. Then, it will look like this. Next, take your top hair and glue it on top of the hair piece. After that, you're going to take your back hair piece and glue it onto the back of the head, making sure that you stitch up this dart at the top before gluing it on. And as you glue it on, make sure that you go all the way around the head, making sure to stop gluing right at the bottom of the ears. Then, you will take your top back hair piece and glue it on the back of the head. Next, you will cut out your jacket pattern. First, you're going to take two of the pieces of your pattern and sew them all the way around. Do this for all three pieces of the pattern, except for the sleeves. Then, you will have this. Make sure that you've cut a hole in the center of each piece to flip them right side out, but you're not going to stuff them. Next, you're going to place them together like this, sewing them together at their top corners only. Now that you've sewn them together, they'll look like this. Next, you will take your sleeves and fold them over themselves and stitch them along this edge. Now that they are stitched, flip them right side out, and you're going to stitch them into the sleeve holes of the jacket, along these rounded edges. Now that you've stitched them in, they're going to look like this. After that, you're going to take these two edges of the jacket and stitch them together along their straight edges making sure that the corners align. Do this for both sides. Then it will look like this, and you will slide it onto your character. The sleeves are made to where once the arm is put in, it's a tight fit, but it will still be able to come on and off. You can also extend the length of the sleeves by making them about the same size as the arms. Next, you will print out your eye pattern and put tape over them, making sure there are no particles on the tape. Then, you are going to trim them out properly. After you have done that, you will glue them onto your face. Once it's glued on, it will look like this. Now, you are going to stitch in or draw on a mouth for your plush. Your mouth can be any expression, but I just made a simple line for a neutral expression. Then, the plush is finished. If you made this plush or are planning to, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe with notifications, and tell me what character I should make next. Make sure to also follow my Instagram, as I will keep you guys updated over there on what I'm working on. So, that's it. See you guys next time.